Oh, euphoria. That was the diss track that Kendrick Lamar dropped yesterday where he was getting on Drake about a lot of different things and he had a whole lot to say. And it seemed like quite a few people have had a lot to say about Mr. Aubrey. Like we heard from Kendrick Lamar, of course. Uh, we heard from Future. Uh, we also heard from Rick Ross multiple times. But it seems like it's Drake versus the world. It's also seemed like there's been a beef with Rashad Bateman and a lot of Ravens fans because they have continued to get on him online over and over and over and over again. But Rashad Bateman, when he got his contract extension, coincidentally, he used Drake. He used Drake. He sent a message to Ravens fans and to, to haters, to the tweeters and deleters, letting people know like, hey, <laughs> what you going to say now? What you going to be upset for now? But today, uh, Rashad Bateman, he was on Glenn Clark Radio. Uh, he had an interview with them. Uh, and he, shout out to Glenn Clark, by the way. And he sort of took a J. Cole approach to the situation. And it seems like this is a much different tone from the message that he sent to all his haters the other day. And we're going to get into it in a little bit. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications on, and leave a like on the video. And let's see what Mr. Bateman had to say, because I'm sure you will all really appreciate it a lot. So, on his contract extension, Rashad Bateman said, it feels good. I definitely didn't see it coming. I mean, I don't, I don't think any of us did, Bate. I don't think none of us saw that coming. But anyway, he said, it means a lot, knowing that they want me here. Having them in my corner, the team trusts me. Having some security, it's kind of like a fresh start for me. I'm excited. I've got a lot to prove, and, and we're looking forward to him proving all of it. Because the contract, we did get some numbers from the contract, but we're still waiting on some more. I'm still waiting on Brian McFarlane to break it down like only he can break it down. So when, we, when he does, we will cover it even more. But it's a very, very modest contract. But it, it is, could be looked at as a fresh start. Because Rashad Bateman getting a contract extension for a couple of years. Uh, and it ain't no crazy money, anything like that. But he, I know he certainly hasn't lived up to expectations uh, being a first-round pick. But for him to take that deal, that says a lot about him. For the Baltimore Ravens to give him that deal says a lot about them as well. So it's nice that the two sides could amicably continue their relationship. And hopefully, this time during the season, we'll be saying that, oh, man, that dude, that's the contract that he got. And we getting that production out of him. Oh, my goodness. What a steal. Continuing. Um, he also talked about what he has to prove. He said, I want to prove to myself that I can be a star. Uh, be a player, be someone the team can depend on, reliable. There's been ups and downs in my career. I'm in a good spot right now. I feel good. I'm healthy. Should be a good year. And you know what? That's been the thing with Rashad Bateman. And we're going to get into that a little bit. He actually got into that a little bit, uh, and we'll talk about it shortly. But um, health, that's been a thing. That has been a thing. He just hasn't been healthy, and then especially in the offseason, the timing has just been all kinds of messed up. But let's just continue uh, because he spoke on that himself. Um, he said this was about on if he doubted his future in Baltimore, which a lot of us did, especially myself. I really thought Rashad Bateman was out of there for sure. But he said for sure, meaning he did doubt his future with the Ravens. Uh, it has to do with my injury history. Nothing to do with Baltimore. I don't blame anybody for how they feel. The fans, the coaches, they have a right to feel how they felt I was a first round draft pick there's expectations with that so I do appreciate Rashad Bateman really accepting it really taking accountability with everything that he was speaking about with this because yeah that's true being a first round pick expectations as with a second round pick they high but they not through the roof and the lower the draft pick the lower the expectations but Rashad Bateman was dry, drafted in the highest round that you could possibly get drafted at the first so as a first round pick, you expect it to come in right away, contribute right away and contribute consistently to you're supposed to be a focal point of your football team. And Rashad Bateman just he hasn't unfortunately been that thus far. There's been some moments here and there, but continuously hasn't been there yet. But I did appreciate him acknowledging that and acknowledging the expectation that comes with being a first round pick that he just he hasn't been able to achieve yet. But let's continue um, on his expectations. He says, I go by my standards. Those are the cards I got dealt. They were tough. I've never been through it before now. It made me stronger, made me appreciate the game. It's a fresh start. The only person I have to prove anything to is myself. <laughs> well, it is to himself, but he got to prove it to the Ravens too. Cause You know, like just because somebody got a contract don't mean they'll play out that contract. So he got to prove it to himself for sure. But he got to prove it to the organization as well. But anyway, um, on block, this is what he said about blocking outside noise. He said, after year two, it hit me that it is what it is. 
uh, they can say whatever, whether it's fans, reporters, families, tweeters, and deleters. He ain't say that part. I just added that in there. But anyway, he said, whether it's fans, reporters, family. With my injuries, you can't explain that to everybody. Explain play, play calling. Explain the business. I be wasting my time. So basically what I got from that part is that he has a lot to say. He wants to try to explain himself to so many people, but he just feels like they just they won't even listen. And it is what it is at this point. And it's going to be what it's going to be. So it seems like he just doesn't want to go through. All right, well, I messed up because of this. Well, this was the situation because of that. Well, this is why this happened. It seems like he don't even want to waste his time doing that. So that's cool. Just prove it on the field. That's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Uh, now, um, he also said, Lamar Jackson, trust me. Lamar, trust me. Last year, we didn't have that connection. And that's due to me, my injury. I wasn't able to work out with him in the offseason. I missed all the training camp for a QB that's tough. You got to feel your receivers. That's true. I appreciate that a lot. That's real right there. Now, this is where it got a little tricky for a lot of people because I appreciate that Rashad Bateman said that like crazy. Again, let's read it again. Lamar, trust me, last year we didn't have that connection. So that's something that we all know. We all know that they didn't have that connection. That was obvious. But then he said, and that's due to me, my injury. So him being hurt. Okay, cool. Get it. I wasn't able to work out with him in the offseason. I missed all the training camp. For a QB, that's tough. You got to feel your receiver. So saying that he missed the workout time with Lamar Jackson, missed the offseason with Lamar Jackson, and that messed up their connection. But where a lot, I seen a lot of fans talking about it today. They were like, man. If, if he's saying that now, how come he wasn't at the voluntary workouts this offseason? And, and I get the argument. I get it. But let's just let's continue to see how the offseason goes because it's just May 1st. It's just May 1st. They got all of May. They got all of June. They got July. That'll be when training camps are. That's when you're really, really practicing. So the outrage and the people that was like, oh, well, Bateman, he should have been there for the voluntary workouts. I get it. But let's see how the rest of the offseason plays out because they still got three months again may june july and august they got four months actually four months before september so i ain't tripping out about the whole voluntary workouts thing i was never tripping out about it but i, I can see how people would say the things that they said but i, I ain't tripping about that Let, again let's see how the rest of the offseason plays out he also said tom brady he didn't do it by himself Patrick Mahomes, oh, you know what, let's, let's read the part before. He said, uh, on Lamar Jackson, he said, he gets so much hate and negativity no matter what he does. True, we ain't even got to explain that. He said he's a two-time MVP, and people are still talking about, talking stuff about how he still hasn't done this or that. It takes 11 people to win the game. Tom Brady didn't do it by himself. Patrick Mahomes didn't do it by himself. They're phenomenal, but if you're telling me those people did it by themselves, then good luck, Charlie. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Disney Channel. Look at that. I see you, Rashad. Baby. I, guess, I guess you like that show, Good Luck Charlie, with the little girl, the family. And what? Okay. But anyway, I mean, that, that part was pretty much self-explanatory. We don't even got to go into detail for that one. Uh, he also talked about playing with Odell Beckham Jr. He said, I had never idolized a wide receiver until he came into the league. Me and Odell Beckham Jr. are tight now. Just call me to congratulate me and check in on me. He's been through injuries. He gave me advice how to get through it all. And hey, that's <laughs> you talk, talk about somebody who can give you some advice on getting through injuries. That's the guy right there for sure. Shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. This man didn't play for a whole year and got a contract, got a contract for 15 mil guaranteed worth up to 18 mil from the Baltimore Ravens. Anyway, um, so that was cool, man. I, I really appreciated this uh, from Rashad Bateman. We will link the video to the interview down below in the description. Again, shout out to Glenn Clark. He is good people. Uh, we were able to go on there one. No, we've actually been on there twice. We've been on his show twice. Um, and he's super, super nice. Uh, super, super cool. Super, super just great, man. Great, great people all around, man. Um, but I, I'm glad. And, and he interviews a lot of the Baltimore Ravens. He just interviewed uh, TJ Tampa today, too. So he's he, he busy. He's busy. Glenn Clark, like, he, I know him and Rita, they used to have a show with Tyus Bowser and stuff. Like, they, he, they real deal, man. So shout out to the both of them. But anyway, um, I appreciated Rashad Bateman opening up. Uh, I appreciated him being honest. I appreciated him uh, doing a lot of self-evaluation. Because uh, that's important. Because obviously, as a football player, so many other people evaluate you on a daily basis. They talk about you. They look at your work and whatnot. But for you to evaluate yourself and to speak about it publicly, that's big. So, Bate, looking forward to a great season. I'm um, looking forward to a healthy season. 
Because, again, that's the only thing that I think has been in his way. The health. That's it. The talent is there. And now it's just a matter of time. Team, keep it clean. Let me know what you think about the interview. Let me know what you think about some stuff that Rashad Bateman said. Uh, and what are you looking forward to when it comes to Rashad Bateman this season? What what's some of the biggest things that you're looking forward to when it comes to number, number seven for the Baltimore Ravens? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss any single video, any single update. And leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. And it also helps YouTube continue to recommend the videos to you when they go public. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. I love all y'all and I appreciate all y'all's support on a daily. We out.